Welcome back. Remember, for more on our top stories and others, please visit our website, channelstv.com and youtube.com forward slash channels web. Log on to emberchannelstv.com to watch us on your mobile device or download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS and Windows devices from their respective stores. The Channels TV and Channels 24 app will give you access to news and updates. You'll also have access to the eyewitness feature with which you can share those pictures, videos or news of happenings around you. Go ahead, install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the menu and follow the instructions you find there. The Plata State Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Daimishi Songo, and four others have been abducted by suspected kidnappers while traveling from Jos to Abuja in preparation for the party's national convention. The former Minister of Sports was abducted alongside his son, a chieftain of the party, the driver, and one other person. All five men were abducted in Jere along Kafuna Abuja Expressway. The State Publicity Secretary of the party, John Akans told Channels Television that the abductors abandoned the vehicle and that no contact has been established with them. The Plata State Police Public Relations Officer, Teopev Mathias, also confirms the incident, adding that his men are on the trail of the abductors and that the victims will soon regain their freedom. Yesterday, at about 19.00 hours, there was a call from Jerry Police Division that uh, the PDP chairman on the plateau was uh, adopted by uh, some unknown gunmen along Jerry Kagarku Road while he was uh, going to Abuja. Immediately that happened, the Karuna State Command called in anti-kidnapping unit and the Jere Division, along with uh, Kagarko and some other uh, units in the police, to mount uh, surveillance. Uh, the process of uh, getting contact from the doctors is on. Investigation into the case is on. And I want to appeal to the good people of Plateau that uh, their son would soon be rescued. To some politics now, with less than 48 hours to the National Convention of the People's Democratic Party, Southern delegates in River State, led by the state chairman, are already rooting for what they describe as a Southern National Chairman with strong roots in the South-South. In a meeting with journalists in Port Harcourt, the state capital, the party explained that only a truly committed and experienced party man that had stayed with the PDP throughout the crisis period in the South could master the clouds to dislodge the ruling party in the 2019 elections. The party chairman maintains that money will have no role to play in the decisions of the delegates. We are pleased to inform you that the PDP has fairly and democratically zoned its national chairmanship offices to the geopolitical zones. Here in the whole of Southern part, we are to produce the national chairman. Unlike other zones, ours is easy because we are lucky to have as one of our own a tested and seasoned personality with the requisite experience not only to occupy the office of the national chairman but also capable of carrying out the walrus tax with relative ease and satisfaction. He is a pioneer member of PDP, has served in different capacity including one-time state chairman of a great party, national organizing secretary, have acted as the deputy national chairman, acted also as the chairman, national chairman of a great party, and a member of BOT, among others. He is no other than our very own Prince Uche Secondus. And more political stories now. Governors of the six states of the Southwest have reaffirmed their commitments to set aside political differences and other limiting considerations to forge a common front on issues affecting the entire region. Rising from a meeting of all the six governors of Oyo, Oshun, Ogun, Ondo, Ekiti, and Lagos states, the governors agreed to be united on salient issues of national development, along, among with the ongoing constitutional 
amendment which they say is germane. The meeting, which was hosted by the Oyo State Governor Abiola Jimobi, was held behind closed doors, after which the group addressed journalists. Uh, speaking on behalf of his colleagues, the Ondo State Governor Rutimi Akeridulu told newsmen of an agreement to disregard political boundaries and present one voice on the constitutional amendment and regional integration. One of the issues, or the issues we try to look at is this. There are many things affecting us, as you all know. It's so clear to us that, look, there is move for issue of amendment of the constitution. And as expected, we believe that, look, we know as a group what are as leaders of this zone, what should be our interests. So we want to present a common position and have our houses of assembly and other stakeholders who believe in us to come along with us on issues that we have agreed on, we believe are fundamental and are common to our interests. I mean, as you can see, all of us here are brothers. And, and you see one of my good friends here, and that is uh, Ayo Fayoshi. Yes. Now, so what we are doing is that, look, as one from Odudua, all of us being brothers, we are finding solutions to matters that we believe is of interest, common interest to all of us, and we are doing it together. Ondo State Governor Rotimi Akeridolu. Now, the managing director of the Nigeria Export Import Bank, Mr. Abba Belu, says the bank will support Cross River State's 1.3 trillion naira budget um, estimated for 2018. Mr. Belu believes funding of a budget this size, the biggest by any state in the country, can be, can be achieved by an administration like the one in power. The Maxim boss is also happy with the state's industrialization drive, promising to the commitment of his bank. This was further cemented with the signing of a memorandum of understanding and a financial service agreement between Nexim Bank and the state government. The partnership between us and the state government will yield revenues for the state and the federal government as well, uh, alternative to oil. And we will we'll give our full support outside funding directly. We will also use our network of export credit, credit agencies so that funding doesn't really have to be in Naira or in dollar, but in credit. Okay, so when it comes to equipment and plant, we can use that to attract uh, facilities for the state. For me, it's a unism that is very supercritically balanced. But I see you as the shiny medallion that we all gravitate towards. Because the entire country as it is, as we struggle to see how we can increase our dollar inflow into the country, the oil-based dollar is specific in terms of productivity, subject to environmental sensitivity, and delicate communal issues. Therefore, the most reliable, the most dependable, the certainty of Nigerian drive for export rests totally, squarely, on this team that you drive. Governor of Cross River State, Ben Ayade. Still ahead on news across Nigeria, Enugu State Governor Ifan Yugwai is promising to improve the welfare of workers in his state. Join us again. <laughs>